Hello and welcome to part four. I actually found it necessary to come back uh, and add this uh, part um, when I noticed kind of something unique to these um, template sites. So I'll, I'll show you what the problem is. It's, uh, it's not really a problem. It's very easy to fix, but I felt it was important enough to make a part four about. And uh, when we left off at part three, we basically left you with a, a fully uh, functional uh, website uh, with all the pages working and you know there were we ended up with six pages and everything was working when I was uh, playing around with it a little bit more later then and I went to uh, title the pages and put keywords into them this is what I noticed so here's what you do is we're right now we're on the default home page and uh, part of the customization on each page is you're going to have to go in and title each page, put keywords in and in a description. And uh, you have to do that on each individual page. You can't uh, do that through the dynamic web template because each page will have its own unique keywords and description. So how you do that is um, when you're on in design view, you, you right click and it brings up this dialog box and then you hit page properties. And you can see here you've got title, page description, and keywords. Well, you notice here I could enter the title. So um, my title could be cool site and uh, cool site and then its home page. But um, you'll notice that um, for a page description and keywords, it's dimmed out. So actually, I can't enter anything. And the reason that is is that uh, these are these are actually these. Uh, page description and keywords are contained within a non-editable region within the dynamic web template. So um, we definitely need to have a page description and we definitely need to have keywords. So how are we going to fix this problem? We can put the title in but that's not enough. So um, so what we can do is we've got to go into our master DWT template and uh, let's go into the code, uh, look in the code here a little bit. And um, well, let's let's first pop back to the uh, default home page and let me show you some. So um, normally, let me just put this straight into code view. Um, normally, the keywords are entered as a as a as a meta meta tag as a meta name, but you'll notice you'll see here uh, this part that shell it out is actually the part that's non-editable. And uh, you'll see here the title, right, under the doc title section. It let me enter the name because it's in an editable region. But the meta tag for the keywords and the descriptions is in a is in a non-editable or uneditable region. So um, that's why if we go back, let's go back to split here real quick. And uh, in design view, right click. And I go to uh, page properties. It's dimmed out, right? So it won't let me enter the page description or the keywords because it's in the non-editable region. And you can see that in the code, right? You can see that up here in the code where this white section here and it says begin editable region. I, it did let me put in the title, but it wouldn't let me put in the keywords or the descriptions because they're in this yellowed out section, which is actually the uneditable or non-editable regions. So what we can fix is actually very easily and all we have to do is go into the master uh, dynamic web template and uh, you see here where we have our our meta name keywords what we need to do is um, and you see here the begin editable and ineditable region let's just make a little bit of space here uh, and we hit that just by entering enter on our keyboard and then let's come over here and highlight um, those you know, meta name keywords and meta name description. Then right click uh, copy, or actually we go back, right click cut, and then paste it right in here. So what we're doing is we're we're pasting it into the editable region. Now let's save that, uh, and then it wants to update all the six files. Say yes, close, and then we go back to default here. And uh, well, we'll do our. Uh, so now, if we um, let's move this up here a little bit and see more into the design view. Now, let's say we right-click here and go to Page Properties. You'll notice now that um, 
this is my home page. So now I can enter the page description and the and the key uh, keywords or whatever, and then uh, um, you know, say whatever words you know you'd want to put in here for your keywords. And so uh, that's what you need to do to be able to open it up so that you can go through and put a title, page description, and keyword. And you need to do that for each one of your pages. So if we go to the blog page, uh, it has no title on it. So we right click page properties and you know this is our blog page so we put in blog and then this is my uh, blog page and then uh, you know, blog or whatever. I actually, uh, and then you go OK. And, uh, but you're going to have to come into the Master D uh, Dynamic Web Template, though, and move these into the edit from the uneditable to the editable region, uh, like I showed you. I actually have a, another, there's another video I think that a lot of people miss, um, but it's, uh, it's this one. And um, it was actually, uh, kind of like the third in a series of videos and this one was to show um, how to title your pages put the keywords and descriptions in and then submit to the search engine so um, so back to uh, expression web once you um, title and customize your pages then you're basically good to go and you just need to register with the search engine so I, I just wanted to show you that um, how to uh, do that because I just ran into that as a as a, when I was trying to upload one of these template sites I noticed that so I hope that helps and uh, thanks so much for watching and subscribing again